and I'm going to use the word legend because oh. that's what Nicole is when it comes to this region of netball. Take us through the first couple of weeks. How have the Centurions been going? Uh, it's been new. It's been fun. It's been exciting. Um, we've got some new blood. We're bleeding through our young girls now. Um, so I guess it's just to watch this space and see what the Werribee Central's girls can do in 2024. Yep. Yeah. So what did you pick up from the last couple of games? Uh, my understanding is you missed the big one in round one, but obviously Anarchy just shot out of the blocks last week. What, what was dissected from this front yeah, in round okay. four? I, we were pretty surprised with yep. what Anarchy brought. They were competitive, they were physical, um, and we just didn't match them on the day. And we've gone away and we've spoken about what we can do better to be a competitive team in this season and this year. Yep. And then we move to round five, the two W's, Werribee and Winchelsea. I don't know what to predict, <laughs> where to look. It's a long distance derby. How do you see this match panning out across the grades? Yeah, look, it'll be interesting for us to see what we can put out up against a team like Winchelsea. We are young and there are a few big names missing from what was last year's side and probably moving forward but um we're looking forward to the match yeah. yeah i won't ask you a prediction in that one but we need an expert you're the expert east geelong and Corio. will the eagles capitalize on that mm. home court advantage it's the top of the table clash who's going to win it Good question. Um, I think it'll be a great game, to be fair. Um, Carayo have really improved and they've been knocking on the door for a while now. Um, so, do you know what? I'm going to go with Carayo. There you go. Yeah. You've heard it first. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thanks, Alex. <laughs>